Hello, this is a quick video on how to edit homerooms and how to assign patrons to those homerooms. So first things first, I'm going to destiny.esc11.net. I'm going to click on Waco and for today's purpose, I'm just going to choose Alta Vista. I'm going to log in. And from here, I'm going to go into Back Office. The Back Office tab, make that a little bit bigger. You will see on the left hand side the option to manage home rooms. And this is where all of the home rooms reside. So you could always come in here and click on the pencil to edit the home room. Maybe this person. Um, you know, got married over summer and needed their name changed, etc. You can also assign a supervisor to that homeroom, which I don't really do much with. I wouldn't really suggest that. I would just leave it as undefined. So that's how you can edit each homeroom. And of course, the trash can there lets you get rid of the homeroom altogether. Now, how to actually put patrons in the homeroom is um, on another menu here. You're going to come up to update patrons. And if you have students that, you know, change classes during the year, you can always say here based on individual patron and you would change their home room to whichever home room is, is needed to be selected there. And then you would put in their patron ID or their patron name and hit update. And that will change that student to the appropriate home room. If you're needing to do groups of kids, batches of kids, which is what we often do at the beginning of school year, you would want to come in and do a barcode list or a file. What you would want to do is you'd want to, the easiest way I would think would be to have the teacher give you a roster of the students, or you could maybe go ask the counselor or your PEAMS specialist on the campus to give you um, rosters of kiddos. And then what you can do is you can come in and their student ID number is also their barcode. And so you could, one at a time, type in their barcode and press that Add button. And then once they're all in there, you would hit Update. Or if they were able to email you those rosters or email you those student ID numbers, you could copy and paste them into just a note file or a notepad file, which is a TXT file. You could type in all of the barcodes there or copy and paste all of the barcodes into that notepad file. And then down here, where it says select the barcode file, you could upload that notepad file. So like I said, either way, you have to have those kiddos, um, they're, like I said, in their homerooms by a roster, or like I said, if they can email it to you, it would be easier to just copy and paste those in, and then you can upload them, at, uh, upload several of them at a time. So that's that's it. That's how you can manage homerooms, and that's also how you can add kiddos to um, homerooms as well. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to uh, call me or, or text me. Thanks.